Hi guys and welcome to another Skyrim mod showcase. Now this showcase is going to be a little bit rough around the edges, mainly because I'm doing it entirely in game and I really haven't thought about the video much at all. Um, it's a mod that I've had in my list for a while now, bookmarked on Google, um, to check out and try out in game and see what it's all about because it looked quite interesting on the mod page but I never really got around to using it and to be honest I wish I'd used it sooner because it's an absolutely fantastic mod and the mod is called Add Item Menu. Now it probably doesn't sound a lot with the title of the mod, but it's really useful if you do things like I do, where I review other mods, and also things like Devil's Tale, where I need to import many different objects throughout Skyrim and also objects from other mods. And what this mod does is it adds an item in your inventory called the Add Item Menu. And with this, it, if you select it, it opens up a list of all the ESMs and ESPs that you have in your load order. And when you select one of these, it then opens up a container of all the items that that mod or DLC contains. So, to try this out, we'll first look at the Dragonborn ESM. So if I click on that, and click, we'll click part one for now. It'll open up a container like a normal inventory menu, and in it, you'll see all of the items from part one that the Dragonborn DLC contains. This means I can add any of the armors to my character, any of the keys, weapons, anything really at all that is in this list. And that to me is an absolutely fantastic thing. It means I don't have to search in the console like I normally would for certain objects. It means I can instantly look and see what's in the Dragonborn DLC and add them to my character. For example, I can simply select the shit in armor which I'm probably saying wrong, but I prefer saying it that way because it's funnier. And that will then, if I come out of the menu, be on my character. Now I have a lot of junk on my character at the moment, so please excuse me while I try and find this. But there is the armor, added straight from the Dragonborn ESM. So let's go and have a look at another one. And this time I'll go for a mod. And I'll go down to the bottom of my list for the most recently added mod, which I think is Catch, isn't it? The uh, Art of the Catch. And obviously, add item menu is there at the bottom as well. Um, I also have the Ashbringer on here as well. Let's go with the Ashbringer from John Skyrim. Let's go with that. And you can see straight away we have the Ashbringer and the Corrupted Ashbringer. If you're not familiar with this mod, I do recommend you check that out on the Skyrim Nexus. It's a very decent mod. Um, so an awesome looking weapon. Uh, the two different versions have a different um, spell. Um, what do you want to call it? A... See, this is the problem with doing mod reviews on the fly. Um, a different enchantment for each weapon, which has a different effect. You can see there at the bottom. And it also has a different animation for the weapon as well. Definitely recommend trying that one out. But back to add item menu. And we'll go back into the menu here. And where is it? There it is. And you can also assign this to a hotkey as well, which is very useful because it's obviously a lot quicker to open up. Um, let's go with... There's loads of stuff in here. I don't want to go with the Emidian Born stuff because it's obviously just armors for now. I'm not sure actually what will be in the Emidian Born. Interesting to find out, I guess. Part one of the content add-on for Emidian Born. Whoa. Lots of stuff. Oh, that's an easy way to get the awesome looking ebony armor. I'm a massive fan of the Emidian Born ebony armor. It looks absolutely fantastic. A lot better than the vanilla, that's for sure. Well, I wish I'd found this mod a lot sooner. I'm just going to go back in and try one more mod out, just so you can see what it's all about. And we'll have a look at this time round. We won't go for the cutting room floor, which would be quite an interesting ESP to go through, actually, and see what was left out of the main game. If you're not familiar with that mod, definitely recommend checking that one out. It's by Art Moore, who did the... Live Another Life mod. So as you can imagine, it's a very decent mod to have a look at. And let's go down and see what we've got. I have so many ESPs on at the moment. It's unbelievable. It's actually not far off what I use for Dervel's Tale if you're following that Let's Play. Uh, the Huntsman. Obviously, he's going to add the Huntsman bow there. So let's try and look at one that adds a lot. Let's go with the Noldor armor. One of the favorite armor sets on the Skyrim Nexus. Absolutely fantastic sets of armor in here. And as you can see, opens up the container and we've got access to all of them straight off the bat. 
So you can imagine the real benefit for me is if I add a mod to the game which has say an armor set or a weapon set I can instantly open it up very quickly and it saves me either going to have to craft the item or searching in the console because sometimes if you search in the console you might not find it depending on what the item is called it can be very difficult sometimes um, at least for me maybe I'm searching slightly wrong um, but to be honest this is a much quicker and a much faster way you can really see what you're going to get as well when you add the item to your character with the console it might not be the right thing that you're adding so this really is a massive benefit and it's absolutely fantastic I just want to show one more thing actually before I leave you guys to go and try this mod out for yourselves I just want to see what happens if I open up the Skyrim ESM whoa eight parts let's see what's in part one okay I just want to see how much stuff was in there to be honest how many baskets are there? One, two, six variants of basket. Okay, dedication to the cause there from Bethesda. Six variants of basket. Nice. Oh, Broken Zazora Star looks a bit jazzy, doesn't it? Interesting. What else have we got? How many? Three types of common clothes. You've got six types of basket, but only three types of common clothes. Interesting. I would have thought there would have been more common clothes than there were baskets, but never mind. But as you can see, very useful mod, and I definitely, definitely recommend that you try this one out for yourself. It's a massive help to me, and I'm sure if you're making videos in Skyrim at the moment, then it's going to be a massive help to you also. So, like I said, this is completely unrehearsed off the bat so there are it's very rough around the edges this mod showcase but i hope you've enjoyed it and if you have like local mod obviously the link is in the description below so please click on that to go to the mod page and remember to endorse the mod if you use it i will definitely be doing that and one more thing on this mod you will require the ui extensions there's a link to that off the mod page but i'll also post one in the link below and that just requires skse which i'm pretty sure by now all of you use thanks for watching this mod showcase I hope you've enjoyed it, and as always guys, I'll see you next time.